art by Inked Playmats at InkedPlaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. from Klotz Productions and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. For this match we have Colin playing Wolf Run White and he's going up against Cory with Red Green Aggro. Colin was on the play and started with a Sun Petal Grove then Cory laid down a Copper Line Gorge and passed. Then Colin laid down a mountain and used a Rampant Growth to search for a forest. Cory just played Land Go then Colin laid down an Ink Moth Nexus. He then played a Strangle Root Geist and attacked dropping Cory down to 18. Cory went to 16 on his turn to play a Phyrexian Metamorph and copy the Strangle Root Geist he then attacked with it, dropping Colin to 18. Colin laid down another Nexus and then played a Garrick Relentless and used it to kill Cory's Metamorph. He came back and copied the Geist again. This caused the Garrick to transform into Garrick the Bell Cursed. He then played a Green Sun Zenith for two on his turn to find himself a Strangle Root Geist. Then he used a Pillar of Flame to get rid of Colin's Geist. Then he attacked Garrick with one of his guys, killing it, and then sent his copy at Colin, dropping him to 15. Colin played a Solemn Simulacrum on his turn and searched for a Plains. Then Cory attacked with both of his creatures, so Colin used his Solemn to block the copy. He drew a card when his Solemn died and went down to 13. Then post-combat, Cory played a Huntmaster of the Fells, going back up to 18 and getting himself a Wolf Token. Colin laid down a third Ink Moth Nexus on his turn and then played an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite, wiping Cory's board. Cory just played a Sword of War and Peace on his next turn. Then Colin played a Rootbound Crag and then animated all three of his Ink Moth Nexus and attacked with his team. This brought Cory down to 14 and gave him 9 Poison Counters. Cory then drew his next card and scooped it up, giving Colin the win and taking them to game two. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you liked this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.